Welcome to English Leap video lessons. This sentence is simple, isn't it? Now, if I tell you to identify the subject and the object of the sentence, can you do so? If you can, then you don't need this lesson. But if you can't, keep watching. Because the subject verb object concept is central to the understanding of English sentences and helps in understanding other grammar concepts too. In this sentence, let us first identify the verb. When we say verb, obviously we're talking about the word that describes the action being performed. What is the action here? Hari taking his dog out. Now, hurry himself is not an action, nor is his dog. Out describes where they went. Hence, took is the action or the verb. Who is performing the action? Well, hurry is the one taking the dog out. Hence, he is performing the action. That makes him the subject of the sentence. Note that the subject can be a noun or a pronoun and does not need to be a human being. And as you can see, the subject and verb are generally essential for a complete sentence. This part of any sentence which says something about the subject is known as the predicate. Together, a subject and a predicate form what is known as a clause. But this is a sentence. How can it be a clause? What is the difference between a sentence and a clause? Well, this is a sentence and it is a clause, but a sentence can have more than one clause. As in, here, this is one clause and this is another. This is the difference between a sentence and a clause. A sentence is one or more clauses. But let's get back to the original sentence now. We have to discuss the object. Hari is walking the dog. The dog is being walked. This makes it, the dog, the object of the sentence. Let's look at another sentence. Here, we can immediately tell that I is the subject and am is the verb. But is you the object? No action is being performed on it after all. Someone is just stating that he or she is taller than someone. Well, to clarify, you is the object. Because it is still affected by the action of the subject. The subject being taller than you makes you shorter than the subject. This too counts as an object. And that's it. We've understood the basic structure of the English sentence. This will help you in understanding many other grammar concepts. So keep practicing.